The man on the face of the $20 bill is the same man who once offered up to 325 times that amount for the return of a runaway enslaved person, including extra bonuses for every hundred lashes inflicted upon that man. He was a master planter who fertilized American soil with Native American bodies and hydrated southern cotton fields with the blood and sweat of free black labor. Such an icon of white supremacy was he that nearly 200 years after launching the violent displacement of 100,000 non-white bodies, a piece of paper with his face on it was all the authorization they needed to suffocate a man to death while the world watched them do it. Big Floyd was murdered by police outside of a grocery store. See, my uncles also operate grocery stores, liquor stores, mini marts, and so on. That whole generation followed a pretty simple formula. You put your heads down, make your money, send your kids to good schools. See, what that actually meant was, put your heads down and don't think about why this formula works out for you but doesn't always work out for everyone else. Why you get to own property in this neighborhood but the people who live here can't. Why liquor stores like yours are in every corner but fresh produce and after school programs are pretty hard to come by. And definitely don't consider a centuries long history in this nation that includes slavery, legalized segregation, a made up war on drugs, criminalization of black and brown bodies, immunity for police officers when they commit crimes, and that's just to name a few. So what do we do? We put our heads down. We turned those Jacksons into Benjamins and those Benjamins into Benzes. We became well-educated, well-to-do, and well, accommodating. We complied with the status quo that keeps telling us that we're almost there, but just not quite them enough until we shed every last remnant of our heritage. Except, of course, for the ones that can be exploited for a diversity initiative or sold for profit. And in the meantime, we got all our music, culture, fashion, sports heroes from a community of people without ever having to reckon with the fact that we have been complicit in the violence against their very existence all along. We kept our heads down, now the joke's on us. We abandoned our homelands and everything we knew to escape poverty, to escape violent conditions, to escape systemic oppression. And this whole time, we remained silent while we watched those very same things happen to a group of people who are just slightly different from ourselves. We no longer have time to keep our heads down. Not now, not ever again. Listen to and learn from black voices. Donate your time and your money to black-led organizations and black causes. Learn and vote in your federal and local elections. And hey, Bollywood, we don't want to hear any of this Black Lives Matter stuff from you unless you're also dealing with the casteism, colorism, sexism, Hindu supremacy, and support of state-sanctioned violence that's running around freely in your own industry right now. Black Lives Matter. Thank you.